So we drove into Roswell, New Mexico today. Yep. So when we don't do our normal go out and hike or climb a mountain or ride a bike and we want to come in and do a museum or something like that in a town, we still want to get our exercise. Right. So we park somewhere at the edge of town, try to find a bike path or whatever there is and walk into town, yeah. walk around. So today we parked way out at a bird sanctuary. We're walking on, I think it's called the Spring Creek Bike Path in Roswell. Yeah, so it brought us, I don't know, it was a little over three miles into town. And we had lunch, and then we went to the museum, Anderson Museum, and now we're walking back. We've so, had a great day so far. We spent about 10 bucks to combine. I just found a dollar on the ground, so I think our luck is changing. We've had some some struggles lately, but anyway, so but we, that's part of our gracefully aging plan is to always set up a way to do stuff and still get our exercise. Even when we get groceries, we park way up at the edge of the parking lot, so we have to walk into the store just to always make ourselves do more. Yeah. So here we are, and it's beautiful out here. It's a cloudy day, but it's nice bike path. It's just fun. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's like you feel like you're getting. A different kind of look at a little town. I know, it's just cool. It's a great way to experience it. Okay. All right, bye. Morning. Hi. We're uh, walking over in the pecan grove near the RV park this morning. It's warming up quick yeah, this it's morning. It's really nice, but there's a big weather system coming in in two days. And so we're going to leave early. Um, we're going to leave tomorrow. We're going to get some work done on the trailer and then leave. Yep. Um, and try to get to Tucson where it's warmer. And we and the biking right here is just not, it's not good. So Yeah, it's not fun. If you think you're going to be chased by dogs and you don't, you know, you don't know if those dogs are going to try and bite you or not, it's not fun. It's just not fun. So anyway, we're going to go, Tucson has some great bike paths, so we're just going to go, that's our plan anyway. Um, so we're just going a few days early, miss the weather system and get over there. So that's our plan. Okay. We've really been working on the trailer and um, we dumped like three bags in a box of stuff. Three big bags. <laughs> at the Goodwill, at this thrift shop yesterday because... We're already downsized in an RV, and we're downsizing more. Yeah. So anything we haven't used in like the last year, we're just do like another another sweep through. Even yeah, it feels so good to do that. And you know, if you're not using it, other people might need it. So yeah, it feels good. So we're gonna go do some stuff. All right, take it later. Hi. This road is not 
It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's especially if you have any kind of mountain driving skills, and it helps that we have that um, exhaust brake on the diesel. Yeah. All right, we continue our downward jaunt, and out there, that white in the crux of the canyon there is the White Sands now National Park, right? White Sands National Park is out there. Which drivers? We're doing about five hours today, probably of driving. So, anyway, we did. We made it to Cloud. Can I ever never say it? Cloudcroft. And um, the trestle we wanted to hike across was closed. There was a rails to trails trestle hike, but it was closed. So we had lunch, and then uh, we made our way down the big hill, which was no big deal. And that videoed some of it going through the train, the tunnel, but it was easy. People, you know, you read about it, people say they're white knuckling it and it's terrible and it really wasn't bad at all. Um, and we have that exhaust brake and that... It, it might depend on where you come from or what kind of driving you're used to. Yeah, too. but it really was easy. So anyway, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we went through there and saw cloud crop. Had some snow up there. Anyway, so now we're heading over to um, probably spend the night in Deming, New Mexico, before, and tomorrow we'll get to Tucson. Tucson. We're running, we're trying, this weather is, you can see, the clouds, it's just weather's coming in, we're going to try to beat it. I think we will. I think Tucson's supposed to be great, so. I didn't even look to see what it was like in Deming. I know, I'll, I'll look. All right. Yeah. Take you with us wherever okay. we go. video because we're just talking on the whole thing but we're just driving people we haven't had a chance we walked two laps around Walmart last night yeah. or this morning. this morning we um stayed at the Walmart in Deming god we were exhausted oh, man. yeah we started we, getting cranky we, we stayed there and 100 other people 100 other people so we um we're heading we're gonna get over not to Tucson I keep saying Tucson we're gonna stay in Benson which is right outside of Tucson for a few days we're gonna check out another park over there another escapees park but um, anyway, Annette and I, when we rolled through New Mexico, we have such joy because it reminds us of walking. We have experienced this land like, you know, from hiking the CDT through here, which we love New Mexico. But you, we have experienced, we look out the window and we feel joy because we have experienced this land. We've walked under, it's been under our feet. We've slept on it. We'll see a cow tank and get totally overjoyed to see a cow tank because when we, we were out there... We shared water. We shared water with the cows and we'd be so excited to find a cow tank. So I'll see one. Oh, there's a cow tank. And so we are coming up on Lordsburg. In Lordsburg, New Mexico, there's really not much too. But it holds a special place in our heart because it's the last town before we hit that southern border of the Continental Divide Trail. And we were so excited to get there. We had like 80 something miles left and we, we hung out there for a few days. We were waiting for ground control with Major Tom and uh, they were watching a golf tournament. So we were waiting for them to finish. Um, anyway, gosh, it just brings back, I just, it's like taps into this well of feeling deep in my soul. This New Mexico, doesn't it you? Yeah, good feeling. It's so meaningful. I mean, it just touches my heart. Anyway, so we'll be going through Lordsburg here in a little while, and then on to Benson. We are on I-10, and I'm telling you, if you can see out the side window every once in a while as we're recording, there's just it's just full of semis, and they're just flying by the whole way. Sometimes you're wall to wall. Uh, the truckers, it's just a really major trucking route. So uh, it's all good though. It's no big deal. Okay, check it, mate.
forever in our hearts. Which is weird. Which is weird when there's nothing to it. We made it to Benson. Okay. We're at the RV park. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really cool. But so look at us. This is our first walk around, checking it out. And look how bundled up we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. It's okay. It's kind of fun to see, uh, you know, people who aren't usually cold. When it gets cold, they like, they have all kinds of stuff on, like take down jackets and hats. Like us right now. Yeah, I guess we have it on right now. Not we just it's can't find the time. warmth, you guys. We're trying, we just can't find it, but we'll keep searching. It's All right. hike back behind it so we just found this nice hiking path right out of the park and that really makes the park for us to be able yeah it's a lot nicer when you know you can just get up and walk and then have to drive somewhere because we walk every morning and early and it's great to just walk right out of your RV and just go out and this one could go on for a long time so yeah, we're really excited, we're excited about, about it tomorrow we'll go out for a long time uh, it's A plus at this park so far. 